said uh, traditions of men. Right, 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 right. You know, a lot of uh, uh, our people, the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, and the so-called Native Americans, as a whole, they 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 sacrifice the the laws and the works of the, of the Heavenly Father for the traditions of men. That's right. Like you might and and. And there's so much information now. We live in the information age. So a lot of people know that Christmas ain't scriptural. But what, what y'all say? Oh, we're going to do it for the kids. We're going to do it for the children. Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, was born on December the 25th, man. Right. December the 25th is a date that's associated with pagan deities. Right. If you look up, uh, when you go into the Egyptian uh, mythologies, I think, I believe, uh, Horus was uh, synonymous with December 25th. To Mars, December the 25th, because with uh, with uh, with paganism, it's a lot of sun worship. And just a, a, when you go into it a little bit further, I believe it was, uh, I was reading on it. It said uh, December 25th was the day that the uh, the sun starts its new cycle, its new solar cycle. They call it Sol Invictus, which is Latin for um, I believe unconquerable sun. Right. So at the end of the day, this is all sun worship, man. Right. Yeah, I was shot me it was Jake's man. They they don't they Jake don't really deal with the code, man. Right. Cause December 25th was was the birthday of the Tammuz, which was Nimrod's son and Semiramis son. See what I'm saying? That was Nimrod's son slash brother. See what I'm saying? So December 25th was not the day that you was child was born because hell. When the, when you read in the scriptures where it says that you know, there was no vacancy uh, for Joseph and Mary. That's because why? Israel was keeping one of the high holy days known as the Passover. That's why there was no vacancies at the end. See what I'm saying? The scripture never tell you there was three wise. I mean, the scripture only told you there was a wise man that was around Yahweh Shot. That brought them gifts. You know what I'm saying? Because in the dead of winter, cows and their sheep don't graze. Because you still had shepherds out <laughs> doing the birth of your house shot. So that was because matter of fact, Luke tell you uh, basically around about the time when your house shot was born, we're doing tax season. See what I'm saying? That's when what? February, March, April. That's that's during the springtime. See what I'm saying? March and April is around what? Spring. So that's really the time of your house shot birth. Not the dead of winter, because if your house shot was in a manger. As cold as it is now in winter, he'd have died of frostbite or, or pneumonia or gangrene. See what I'm saying? But that's those secrets that we read in Amos 3 and 7 that the Lord revealed to us. That's the vision that we make a plain upon the table, which is what? The scriptures. See what I'm saying? This is, oh, it's like, no safe to water. This is Exodus chapter 20. And I'm going to start at verse 3. It said, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. So when you people worshiping these idols and pagan holidays, you're putting other gods before you have a shot. See what I'm saying? Before you have a shot, you have a shot, the Heavenly Father and the Son. When you people cast the word off to make your family happy, you're worshiping what? Other idols and other gods. When you don't care about how the Lord feels about you, or what he thinks about you, but you you just want to please your wife and kids or your husband instead of the Lord. That's a form of idol worship. The Lord tell you not to celebrate Christmas, but you say you want to do it for Tay Tay or Man Man. See what I'm saying? No, you're committing idolatry, idol worship, and the Lord will kill you for that. This is Exodus 20 and 4. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. What is a Christmas tree? That's a graven image. When you bowing down to the cross, what is that? That's a graven image. See what I'm saying? When you bow down to your wife or your husband, well, you supposed, women are supposed to bow down to their husband. They're supposed to be subservient to their husband. But when you bow down to worship men as an idol, you're doing what? Commit idolatry. Because like Apostle Gabar said, there are different forms of worship. See what I'm saying? We're not bowing down to no man worshiping him as an idol. You get what I'm saying? We put no man on a pedestal except who? You have a shot. You get what I'm saying? It says, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Just like you got what? People worshiping owls, worshiping trees, 
worshiping whales, worshiping dolphins, worshiping fish, you know what I'm saying? Worshiping man as an idol. You get what I'm saying? You're not supposed to do that. It says, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. When you bow down to the Christmas tree, what you doing? You're, you're, you're committing idolatry. Idolatry and adultery. See what I'm saying? Because you, you cheating on the Lord with another God. And it says, nor serve them, for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Why does it say of them that hate me? Because why? You're not following the laws and the commandments of the Bible. You're trying to put other gods before the supreme power. You how about Shemiah was shot? Y'all both got some?